Okay, this model is the Tamago, which means egg in Japanese. In the 90s, I built a lot of this style of board in Japan. I was going to Japan once a year, sometimes twice a year to shape with Randy Rarick. And what this board is, is, is kind of what everybody's calling the, the, um, the mid-length now. It's, it's an egg shape from the 90s. However, what I've done is I've kept the plan shape pretty much verbatim what it was then, but I've changed the rocker uh, a bit more progressive. This one is going to turn up the face a little bit easier than your, most of your mid-range boards. Uh, some of them have a little bit lower entry rocker, so they're going to turn out instead of up. Again, this is uh, all of my boards I keep thick under the belly, bring the rails way down to what I call a ping pong ball rail. More like what you would find on your basic short board at the pro level. And what that does, it allows the board to just roll over real easy. Even though you have a lot of thickness in the center, this board will roll over real easy without pushing back. Like all my bottoms, there's a high point here in between your feet to where from here everything runs forward, from here everything runs back. It gives you a good pivot spot to roll over as you turn up and down the face of the wave like that. Makes the board release real easy. This again comes with the NVS fins. I set this board up for as a two plus one. You could ride it as a single, two plus one, a four fin, a three fin, and up to six foot eight inches. Again, all of my boards are interchangeable to where you can ride it as a twin fin. Once you get above six foot eight, the, the fin placement moves to where the twin fin falls off. But again, this type of board can be ridden in, uh, with any fin configuration. And if, this board will surf fast and loose in the pocket. has a lot of curve in the outline to where it'll turn real easy up and down the face. Um, again, the HD, Fusion HD construction, very strong. No weave showing on any of the sanding. It uh, comes stock with the epoxy matte finish and it's very well constructed. Very happy with the way every, everything is, the edges are where they're supposed to be and very excited to be part of it.